Um, so I think the backup plans, you know, the best way I can explain it is the acronym PACE, uh, Papa Alpha Charlie Echo. It is primary, alternate, contingency, and emergency. And primary for what if you're a public safety agency could be your two-way radio. Some agencies, it's their mobile data terminal. It's that MDT, it's active 911. It's, it's whatever the case may be. It just depends on where you are and where you work. But what happens when that primary fails? What's your alternate plan? So if your primary is data, you're using that the MDT and that fails, are you going back to your radio for an alternate? It's two separate systems. Uh, you know, so you, you're building in some redundancy and reliability. Uh, those two fail. What's your contingency? Do you have uh, local conventional uh, systems that you can change the channel on the radio and connect to each other and then your emergency? Uh, I mean, alternate contingency, uh, contingency and then emergency uh, is talk around radio to radio. And do you know where those channels are in your radios? And I would challenge any first responder, look at your comms plan, look at your channel plan, ask questions. What is this channel? What does that channel do? Uh, you know, I'm a huge advocate of talk around channels, uh, especially for on-scene tactical operations that you don't have to rely on a tower. You don't have to rely on a connection. It's radio to radio, and it's as simple as it gets. And it's the same way in civilian comms. You know, maybe in civilian comms, our primary is our cell phones. Uh, then what happens when, you know, the cell phones go down? You know, nobody has landline telephones anymore. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what's your alternate? And then you continue in your emergency. And, you know, for... For me, for my family, the day Helene hit, we actually got to the contingency piece and was discussing moving to the emergency. We had lost so many different types of comms that day. Um, my my ham radio repeater, the tower site where it was, uh, uh, I'm a guest at, and the generator didn't crank. It just it 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 had a, an alarm on it that prevented the generator from cranking. So once the battery died on the repeater, we didn't have that anymore. So you know, there's there's lots of options there. And and I could talk for days on that. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, real work. Real work was texting. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say I was only seven when Hurricane Hugo came through, so I don't remember much about it either. So Bobby's probably about the same age. Um, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, but yeah, I think the, I think the thing of it is, and I think we as human beings, we get complacent and we think about, um, we don't like thinking about bad days because there's so much going around in our minds. There's so many things that you're having to prioritize. Uh, 